Cyclone Freddy starting to affect the Mozambique coast on tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin. And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for March 10th. Freddy remains a Category 1 cyclone on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane scale and is starting to reach the coast of Mozambique with its tropical storm force winds and eventually the stronger part of the storm will arrive as well. Remember Sir Kevin still alive as well in the southern hemisphere. 83 days until hurricane season begins in the Atlantic but there's nothing to look at at the moment just uh, one quite large extratropical cyclone that's well out over the North Atlantic it can be felt from the eastern coast of uh, Newfoundland all the way to the Azores and Portugal in the South Pacific a 10% is what we've marked now near Vanuatu for a system that might develop later on down the line uh, the Australian system is long gone now and looking further towards the west we've dropped the system near Rodrigues 2 uh, and now we are left with Cyclone Freddy on that side of the ocean but of course that's still something to be looking out for a record breaking storm in the making if not already um, with its energy uh, and with its longevity it is day number, I don't even know anymore actually. Kevin's down there in the South Pacific and we've got two other systems, one of them a high chance, uh, moderate actually, 60%, uh, but could end up developing as it moves eastwards. Looking okay, uh, but it's got to sure up its circulation at the moment. Satellite imagery around the world right now looks like this. Take a look at the red zones if you can see any. Um, probably from Freddy there approaching the coast of Mozambique. That shows high concentrations of rainfall throughout the day and obviously that can produce serious issues like flash flooding. Here's some satellite image imagery of Freddy. 32 days after it first formed off the coast of Australia. Some people saying it's a record. Uh, sort of but not really um, but it is approaching the coast of Mozambique right now it spent three days as a remnant low earlier so you would subtract that off that 32 so really at 29 the record is Hurricane John at 31 it is going to get there no doubt uh, because the storm is going to stall off the coast of Mozambique and then probably turn back around and towards the south or southeast so it's going to last at least another five days it will definitely be the new record holder for the longest lived tropical cyclone on record people suggesting it's also the longest traveled system too i think that's probably true by this point um, and almost the highest ace generator too and this is the south pacific system looks good on paper or rather visible satellite imagery uh, but an ascap pass from just a couple of hours ago uh, found that the center was very open on the northwestern side and didn't have tropical storm force winds yet so we're not looking at a tropical storm right now over there could be on its way though sea surface temperatures look like this around about 79 80 degrees across the tropical eastern pacific that's around 26 to 27 degrees celsius and there's the atlantic caribbean sea looking uh, well not quite there yet hovering around 26 mark and over to the arabian sea temperatures looking okay there generally but better off the coast of india 28 degrees celsius potentially and in the bay of bengal we're looking at temperatures of around 28 especially further east as well Southwest Indian Ocean, a little bit cooler under Freddy's influence of course, but still 26 degrees at a minimum and out over the open waters temperatures are much warmer, 28 pushing 29 degrees Celsius in the tropical zone. Off towards the coast of Australia in Indonesia, uh, temperatures looking good there, very warm off Western Australia, 30 degrees plus now and in the Gulf of Carpentaria a little bit cooler after that invest move through 28, uh, 29 in the Coral Sea and out near Fiji and Vanuatu and Samoa, temperatures hovering around 27 to 28 degrees Celsius on average. Western Pacific looking good in the deep tropics, 28 degrees there. Higher up, it's still getting there slowly. Uh, up towards Luzon, temperatures around 25, 26 degrees. And quite chilly in the South China Sea right now. A big cold anomaly there, as you can clearly see on this anomaly map. Blues there are colder than normal, reds are warmer. 
and you can see there that the South Pacific in general is doing well above average there Southwest Indian Ocean the main ocean there is above average but the uh, Mozambique Channel where Freddy is is quite a bit below average because of Freddy and it's been over the area for so long now and we're still looking for the potential signs of that El Nino starting up in the Eastern Pacific Oceanic heat content looks like this, turquoise is in above, an ample amounts of energy down in the oceans there and you can see quite a lot of the tropical cyclone formation points have that. In the western pacific those colours are building up again as well, uh, particularly in the Philippine Sea drawing a line west of Guam and even the eastern pacific showing one or two little signs already. Let's check the computer models then, the GFS for the five days shows this for Cyclone Freddy, intensification on its approach to landfall. Uh, it is intensifying at the moment, we think, although it is quite hard to gauge. Uh, but the GFS has it stalling along the coast for a couple of days there, which is a big issue, particularly for that rainfall. And then it saunters back out towards the southeast. Look to the east as well, another little system there that is still subtly trying to form there. Uh, but Freddy, of course, taking most of the attention. South Pacific, we're looking for quite a few different systems that have opportunities to form. You'll see the one near Vanuatu on the left hand side, uh, one that doesn't really manage it near Fiji and the current one, 99P, which you'll see at the very beginning there. There it is, middle of the screen, moving eastwards. GFS isn't actually keen on that, uh, so I'm actually quite surprised to see, or maybe just a little bit later on, but the Vanuatu one probably has the best long term uh, chance on the GFS there affecting New Caledonia at the end as a tropical storm. Rainfall expectations for Freddy, it is still very dire if I, if I may say so near the coast of Mozambique very close to Kalimane the main area that's going to be affected by this hopefully final landfall uh, and it's going to be extreme amounts of rainfall uh, possibly up to 30 inches in, in fact which is 750 millimeters and inland uh, large areas above 10 inches 250 millimeters and 6 inches well inland as far north as Malawi and Zambia over there and even the northern border of Mozambique with Tanzania nearly 6 inches still in one or two spots in Madagascar in the next week and generally 4 to 5 inches south of Beira uh, towards the capital Maputo. In the longer range this is what we're expecting day 5 to 10 on the GFS. There's Freddy coming back again shooting off towards the south southeast but just a little bit of a worry there it takes a jog westwards almost trying to get towards Maputo and even towards South Africa but then turns south again and steers off towards the southeast not as close a call as what we were looking at in yesterday's bulletin and as I advised back then uh, this is an extremely uncertain situation and this could change a lot South Pacific once again, take a look at that system near New Caledonia, a small but interesting tropical cyclone that continues southeastwards and then a much larger and stronger one well towards the east there, uh, quite far out there, probably over the Cook Islands initially and then moving off towards the south southeast uh, and becomes quite a strong cyclone, pretty far east for um, this basin. And there it is reaching category 3, maybe even a bit stronger there, and gets to quite a far latitude south, it's just going down there before turning post-tropical. That's all the serious stuff done, you can scan the barcode and take a look at the Force 13 merch store with all of our current items, full season and individual animations, and the still waiting for Hone t-shirt, all available on the merch store, you can find the link in the description. And in the silly range, this is day 10 to 16, what happens next? And you would be quite surprised to see that GFS now has more games in store for us in the form of a double tropical cyclone formation there uh, in the southwest Indian Ocean, one brushing the east coast of Madagascar, the other one more out at sea, forming to the southeast of Rodrigues. Well, that's a certainly a way to get the uh, names next names on the list after Freddy has been dominating the Southwest Indian Ocean for so long well there they are but that's very long range and I wouldn't bet anything on that just yet you can discuss all of this though anywhere around the world all the current weather action on our discord server discord.gg slash force 13 
for tropical weather, general weather, and general chat, really. All kinds of stuff on there with our community of over 3,000. March the 10th last year saw Cyclone Gombe on its run-up to its landfall in Mozambique. They get hit a lot these days. Category 3 is the peak that it managed just before it made landfall late on that day. Nothing else was active on this day in 2022. Uh, you can see not much on that big world map, but Gombe certainly looked a pretty picture and would probably have gotten much stronger if it only had a bit more ocean ahead of it. But there it was peaking, just getting to Category 3 status near the end of the day, and it made landfall right at the end, probably about midnight, early morning local time. Back to this year, and the first name on the Atlantic naming list this year is Arlene. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Adrian, and in the Central Pacific, it is Hone, the storm that we've been waiting for since the summer of 2019. In the Western Pacific, Sanvu is next up, and in the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Mocha. 11 storms so far this year, we might see a 12th fairly soon. 92 is the average, annually. And in the Southern Hemisphere, the next name in the Australian region is Herman, the Southwest Indian Ocean, Fabienne, and in the South Pacific, it's Lola. That's all from tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin. We'll be back again tomorrow night.